Stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you my new valve covers. How's it going today? Still itchy from yesterday. Working on the damn pipes I am. Whatever, it is what it is. That's what happens when you play with fiberglass. So today, I'm gonna finish doing some wire tidying up I am. So as you can see, I kind of already started the front part of it. So I got some of this stuff off Amazon. It's not your regular loom, but it's pretty neat stuff. Eh? You just open her up and show the wire into her and away you go. And then I got some Tessie tape, Tessie, Tessa, Tessa tape for the rest of it. Cause I don't want to use your traditional tape. So I got some supposed to be heat resistant Tessie tape. We'll have to friggin' see. I got a couple of uh, lines done here, as you see. And uh, we just got to get back into this part over here. I want to redo that one so it's not friggin' looks like dicks. And uh, I got some also, I shouldn't say enda, uh, I also got some high heat cover coverness for the cords that go down to the old starter. And then of course the battery line and maybe even that one, whatever it is. What I'm noticing is it's barely gonna fit through one so we're gonna have to do two runs of this. So let's do this right now actually and see how it looks. See how easy it is to feed it to it. Probably not very easy. I should have bought a little bit bigger. I bought half inch. So if you're doing this, buy more than half inch. Buy three quarters of an inch or something. Because I'm going to have to go see, feed, feed. Hey, feed, feed. Look, feed. You got to almost bunch it up. Because when you pull it, it gets skinnier. It's kind of a pain in the ass, actually. I don't like it. Not too sure how, how you're supposed to do this efficiently, actually. It doesn't look very efficient. Maybe I should have watched a video on how to put heat wrap on your wire. Well, I get it. So you got to... Squeeze and push it on. Pull, squeeze, push it on. Pull, squeeze, push it on. Pull, squeeze, push, pull. This is kind of shitty. The fuck design this stuff. Not me, that's for sure. But it's working. Whatever it takes, Captain. Whatever something takes, Captain. Whatever we gotta do to keep the wires from melting. Ooh, something's happening. Ooh, hey, ooh. Hey, get over here. Ooh, hey. Oh, yeah. That was pretty good. We got a little bit of length on that one. Shut up and just do it, would you? Why wouldn't I? Oh. <laughs> Careful. We're almost there. There we are. Perfect. So there's one. So we can trim that off. Probably right here somewhere. There we go. Slide her over. And Bob's your uncle. Nice. Now we got to try to fit this fat bastard into friggin' one. Oh, man. How do I get that around there? Freak. That's going to be a bitch. This can't go there. This is going to go here. Why is that over there? God almighty. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Next. This one's going to be even worse. Oh, we're going to be a few minutes on this one. Just give a little massage. It slowly walks through. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, maybe. I don't know. Oh, it's not working. Oh, we got a wedge. Oh, dick. Oh, no. What happened? What have I got myself into? Can't quit, boys. Girls, peoples. What's that? Huh? What is that? Okay. In. 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 Tractor. That there would be a tractor. It would. Come back in about 10 hours. I'll be done this one. I'll get this finished up, go up the rest of the way here, and then I'll be back. All right, so I got this finally done. It only took me about uh, 20 minutes to get that over. But now we have fire retardant starter lines that go down to the starter. And then we just got to do the power line, which is over there on the wall. Oh, look, I got some new uh, power steering friggin' lines too. So they come in today. But now what I'm going to do is now that we've done that, I'm going to Tessie tape. The rest of this harness right here, somehow, let's get this dipstick out. Do I have any training fluid? Nope. Somehow, we're gonna get, there we go. There, now I can get to it a little bit. So we'll Tessie tape this up. I dropped the roll way down there, so I can't reach it. So I'm just gonna get a new roll, and we'll give it. Well, how about her? Now, make sure that you order this stuff so it's heat resistant, because they do make two kinds. And I'm pretty sure I got cocked over again by Amazon. Oh, dick, you screwed me. I'm fucking suing you for everything you got. Not just a little bit. Everything. Why wouldn't you? 
Because if you don't, then it's not a good job. If you don't do a good job, it just looks like dicks. And you don't want it to look like dicks. I don't expect, okay, shut up, Bill. Sorry about that. Are you watching? Probably not. I probably lost you at the word dick. You're like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Don't worry, I say that every morning in the mirror. What's really going on? I was just gonna loom this all. I really get tired of looking at loom. I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying. Sometimes you can just over loom stuff and there's no way of getting rid of this wiring. So I might as well just go with it and do what I can with it. If you know what I'm saying, I sure don't. Well, I do, but you sure don't. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. You tell me if you do. Comment below and tell me if you know what I'm talking about. Hope you're watching my technique here because it's a pretty good one so far, if I can say so myself. It's not too bad. Let's go around this one now. We'll go through here, back around, we'll go back over, we'll come back around, we'll go back over again, we'll come back around because there's some wires sticking out here we need to get. Actually, we can get that after though. Let's go buy it and we'll get that as we're going on the down slope. All right, so now we got to come back around this way. Oh yeah. Oh, my hands are sore already. Holy, this is a little bit of a workout it is. Okay, so we might as well bring these out here because we're gonna need to incorporate those into this in a minute and hopefully you can see what I'm doing because I noticed that you're underneath this part here on the last video quite a bit and it was really not done on purpose. I apologize. I kind of aggravated any is. Hey, just so you know, my views are uh, looking a little better and things are uh, looking a little better on the channel too. So thank you anybody that's helped me out there and thanks any new subscribers to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Hopefully enjoy me. I do get annoying after a while, but it is what it is. And hell, as a human being, we're all annoying. That's what we do with each other. We annoy each other. It's, it's fun that way. It makes our lives more interesting, kinda. Okay, where am I? Right here. Okay, so let's go through this one first. Ah, starter wire into that one. <clears throat> nice. And then we'll try to get, oh, where's that one go? Oh, that's the ground. Then we'll try to get the next one into it. Right about here. There we go. Oh, we're getting tight back in here. We're getting her though, we're winning. So there's that part done. Now I just gotta come up this part right here and we'll get it done. So this is where I'm saying I can start here and I can wrap it around this way because now we're gonna go this way. So we'll take care of this piece right there. Get out of the way, let my thing through. Okay, here we go. We're on the home stretch now. Man, I wish there was an easier way to do this, but there isn't, unfortunately. It's looking pretty good though. Gallon there from Carphonics introduced me to this tape and I'll tell you what, it's good stuff it is. It's not as good as his stuff because he gets the, you know, the quality brand. This is just a generic shit, but kind of does the same thing, really. And the best way to apply this stuff is to keep it tight on the roll as you're pulling on it and it stays a lot tighter on the wire. Look at that, hey boys. I'm gonna come back down now. We're gonna do a double on this one. I ordered six rolls, so we should be good. There it is. So that's pretty much that part of the harness. So this can go back over there and back down to here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be nice, Jim. Now we gotta do this part, and this part goes over here, which there's no easy way of doing that one. We don't even need this relay, actually. This is a relay for the um, fuel pump, and this is a relay for the shift on the transmission, which I don't have that transmission anymore. So technically, I could lose that, but we're gonna hold on to it for now, just because I don't know what else to tell you. I think we should tape that up now, because it's really bothering me, though. Okay, here we go, here goes nothing. If anybody's got any other ideas for wiring like this, leave your comments down below. I really don't know what to do here, because this is just, there's no easy way. When you got this many wires to make it look Perfect. I think I'm doing a pretty good job at it. I'll tell you one thing, if I get a wiring issue, she ain't gonna be fun to figure out. That's for damn sure. Oh, I can't bury that. I gotta disconnect that for timing in the truck. So we gotta kinda leave that hanging out. That's how you bypass a computer. Okay, so I'm back. And as you can see, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, there's a lot of freaking wires here, but it's fuel injected. What are you gonna do? There's only so much we can do. But I am gonna end up putting these resistor things back up here, but I gotta drill this out because the holes are stripped and all big bolts big enough. So we're gonna put in some hex friggin' doodads. So I'm gonna put these back up here where they belong. That's where they factoryly go. So we're just gonna stick with that. We'll use some stainless steel and we'll make her fancy. I'm gonna make her fancy, Jim. Holy, wouldn't do that twice. You know what it's like to put a bolt in or a nut in. Should have probably put lock washer. Cause you know, this big camshaft in this friggin' 305 is gonna just vibrate the whole truck apart. But my solid mounts, urethane mounts on it. Tear up the road. I'm coming for you, big block. Friggin' right I am. Do you believe me? 
I wouldn't. Okay, so now we need an Allen key for that. What are the chance of finding an Allen key for that? You know what I should have done, maybe? He's brought a screw over with me. That way I'm not back and forth a hundred fucking times. Nope, see? I would have been back once already. Oh, not bad. A little loose. Nope, nope, not bad. Pretty sure I have 100,000 Allen keys the same size in here. This will work. Let's use this one. So when we tighten this up, we gotta make sure it's straight. As straight as I can get anyways, right about there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Did I happen to say, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, how come I can tighten the one up without the lock washer easier? And the one with the lock washer won't tighten. 100 bucks says this is the wrong one. 100 bucks says I can't even get it in there. Should have left the lock washer off. Oh God, what happened? Oh, there we go. We got her, Jim. <laughs> oh yeah, I ain't coming off. Careful. Let's get back in here now for a minute. So now that we got that back where we want to go, we could probably tape this all the way up to here somewhere. Yeah, we might as well, eh? That would look a lot better. Can we get this back out for a minute? We can probably if we unplug a hundred things. See, if I knew I was doing that, I would have uh, done this. Uh, there we go. <sighs> Friggin' right, there we go. Where's my scissors? Gone. I just had them. Uh-oh, they might be in the engine. Oh, here they are. Thought they were gonna be in the engine. Yeah, that doesn't look bad. So there's a jump for the water fuel pump to get it primed up. We tied up these wires back here. This will all go down in here. We got the bracket to put back on that holds the computer in here. So that all goes right there. We should put a little bit of something on that wire. Because you can see that from the front of the engine and we don't want to see a wire. I'd rather see just a black piece of tape. I'll be dipped. As Vice Grip Garage would say. He's got some catchy phrases he does, just like everybody else on the internet. So if anybody ever bitches you and you're a YouTuber and you use other people's words, who gives a fuck? One other thing too, I love y'all. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button too, as I used to say, the old bell bar button. All right, so we got one more to do. We got to put the distributor. We got to coat that wire. Holy fuck, is that here gonna turn off? How high did I put that fucking thing? Sweating my ball sack off. All right, there's that piece of wire. So that looks good. Distributor is close to going back in right now, I'll tell you. That goes to distributor. The other one goes to there, to that, and this and that, and the other friggin' thing. That's good. That's prime. That's that, that's that, and this. I haven't taped this one up yet because I'm not sure which way I'm going to run that. So we haven't covered that one up. I got uh, the water one over here, which we're not going to be using now because I got a water gauge coming. We're gonna put a gauge in the truck. This one here, I don't care about because it's way down there. You're not gonna see it at the back of the engine anyways. And then I got one running down there for the transmission. And I got one over here for an oil pump or the oil sending unit. And then I got one for the uh, knock sensor, not sensor, the fucking exhaust sensor. What the hell is it called again? EGR valve, no, um, doodad. Yeah, that thing. I might put the distributor back in. Let's put the dipstick and the tranny back in so I don't drop nothing down there. I see there's dirt in there already. We'll slide that in the hole. Boop, there we go. I like the way that locks in, that's kind of cool. Trans fluided. Fluided. All right, so let's drop the distributor back in just so we don't drop it or break it or stuff like that. And it should line right back up because we haven't touched nothing. And it's got to go this way, something like that right there. Number one, please. So that's gonna go about right about there. And then this wire here is in my way and that one's cocking me over. So right about there. And then by the time it goes down, it should fall right to number one, which is, uh, let's see if I get this thing out of the way, which is, uh, what's in my way here? I can't see. Oh yeah, nothing's in my way. Why ain't that going? Oh, there it goes. So that's definitely not number one, we're off a tooth. Up it comes. I knew I should have took this out. I just cocked myself over. Okay. The oil pump must have moved a little bit. Damn it. Yeah, sure did. So now I gotta get back down there and turn the oil pump back again. Come here, daddy day, daddy dad. Where are you? There you are. All right, so down, turn back a little bit. There we go. Nah, not quite. God damn. See down there, that's a rod I'm trying to uh, kind of face to number one. That's a oil pump pickup unit, my bobber. Okay, here we go again. Ready? Okay. It fell right in the first time. See, I shouldn't have took it back out. I cocked myself right over. There it is, we got it. Decent. 
sets a breeze sometimes, eh? I knew it went in right away the first time. There we go. Number one. Number one's right here. Yeah, that's number one. We're on it. There you go. So that's in. And on number one. So now, I'm not sure the timing marks are, but for now, we'll just put them right there. This can plug into here. This can come around to here. This one goes on first, which is here. I mean here. I mean where? How about here? There we go. No, how about there? How about this? How about over here? Oh my God, how about here? How about around if I go like this and put it over here? There it is. And then this one go here, and that's how that goes. Beauty. And the cap can go on. We can tighten that up after I put my water doodad in here. Man, those fucking fuel lines are fucking gonna be tight in there, but they'll work. They're probably gonna piss all over the place. We don't need that on there anymore either. Here's all the modules that make it look even more of a cluster fuck. But what are you gonna do? They need to be there, unfortunately. Okay, so we'll get that one started, which is right here. Beauty. Man, I hope the new valve curves, like, we'll have to try them on after this. How are you doing for heat over there? How are you doing for battery? Not very good. You're almost cocked over. Okay, there we go. That one started. No, it's not. Let's get this one started. There we go. That one started. How come we have a wire stuck in here? How come this wire is over here? Why is that there? What in the fuck is going on here? Like I said a hundred times before, it's all in the way you hold your tongue. Friggin' right it is. Okay, so this goes to here. Wait a minute. Let's get this over to here. This goes to here. This goes to here like this. And then this one goes up here. Perfect which just reaches. Then this goes over to here. Looks like a little spider in here, doesn't it? That wire almost too short. That's okay though, it's gonna work. So that goes to there, that goes to there, that goes to there, there, there. This goes over to here, over here, sorry. Actually, this can go through here, it'll look better. No, we'll go this way. Doesn't want to, don't fight it. And then this goes down over to here, and there we go. Actually, you know what? That doesn't look too bad at all. Fuck no. So let's get the valve covers and we'll try them out and see what it looks like. Oh boys, check it out. Oh yeah, hey, eh? Those valve cars are gonna look pretty good on there they are. And look how nice and tidy the wire is. Hey, eh? all nice and neat and tidy. As tidy as you can get for, like I said, a uh, fuel injected engine. It's not gonna look too bad. This bracket here for the alternator has gotta go on still. Just goes like that. Pretty good. We're getting closer every day. Every friggin' day. We got the headers done like we said yesterday, so they're ready to go in. They should look pretty good. The valve covers look good. We're gonna get there. Please subscribe, please hit the like button, I appreciate it. I'm glad you're all here for this video. Hopefully you like this video, it's kind of a tedious little bit of a video because of all the wiring, but it's gotta get done and I might as well show you what I'm doing on my spare time. So, glad you're here and we'll see you on the next one.